y'all and welcome back to another bullet journal flip through video uh, this is my current bullet journal and as we are already almost halfway through <laughs> the first month of 2020 uh, I have a confession to make I filmed hours and hours and hours of me setting up this bullet journal however when I went down to edit it, it was taking so long to edit that when I went to render the videos uh, to get them ready for uh, to add music and voiceover and stuff like that, it would crash my computer. And then I decided that I was just going to very painstakingly go through everything frame by frame and get rid of as much as I could to get it under a particular amount and what wound up happening was I started to realize that there were things missing like entire hours of content was missing and on top of that it was just such a hassle to get it edited in the first place that I basically just I was done. Uh, I was done with that video. It, it is already, uh, at the time of me recording this, it is January 11th. Uh, this needed, I wanted this to have been done no later than three days after the new year. Uh, and then that just, that just wasn't happening. So uh, instead, we're going to do a flip through and I'm going to talk a little bit about my process and what I did and uh, all, all of the pages that I added uh, up until a certain point. Uh, fun fact is I actually do use this bullet journal as a bullet journal. So there are things in here that are very personal that I have uh, gone ahead and covered up and we will be stopping at a particular point um, because I don't, uh, I'm not ready to go over those pages just yet because uh, they're either unfinished or there's uh, content on there that I don't want released quite yet, or it is personal and I, um, I have to cover up the entire page uh, or just parts of it. Uh, and there's just a lot of stuff going on because I mean it is my bullet journal. Uh, uh, that being said, let's get started. Actually, before we get started, let's uh, talk a little bit about my uh, about my cover because I spent a great deal of time on this cover. I actually did this cover back in November. It was a while ago. Uh, anyway, these uh, the moths that are uh, that I done uh, in the background here are actually of my own design. Uh, they're a triangle with mini triangles inside with um, lines coming from the center all the way to the end and then I uh, outlined these in Sharpie uh, like a, just a regular uh, fine point Sharpie and did the the little bumpies on the bottom and they came out so well uh, I actually feature them in several places throughout the book in various sizes which I'm actually really excited about uh, really very 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 excited to show y'all very quickly the illustration uh, which I'm actually I am very proud of that uh, is a recreation of a uh, 1929 painting uh, in the name and <laughs> the name of the painting and the name of the artist are both in French and I do not speak French. I do not know how to speak French. I don't know how to read French. So what I am about to do is going to be a mockery of everything that the French language is. So bear with me. The name of the recreate, uh, the name of the painting is Le, Fe Le Fret à la Rose by Jacques Leclerc. Maybe? Close enough. All right, now with that out of the way, let's go to the first page. When you first open up my bullet journal, 
you see that it is a uh, ELO sketchbook. ELO. It's a sketchbook by this company. And you see these beautiful stickers uh, created by the wonderful Kelsey Ng. Um, and I believe I got these directly from her shop. I do not remember the uh, I do not remember the website that I got these from, uh, but I will find it and post it in the comments or description below if they are still available for you all to order. They were only ten dollars when I ordered them. Uh, because when she posted these to her Instagram and said, hey, these are $10. At the time, I was like, I have $10! And then I bought them. And I actually put these in here before I even did the outside of my book. <laughs> the outside of this bullet journal, just because I, I love them so much. Uh, if you can't tell, they are uh, the Gotham City Sirens plus Batgirl, done as D&D characters, and I love them so much. Well, I don't know if they're D&D characters, I didn't really look that far into them, but I mean, Ivy is obviously a druid, Catwoman is a thief, Harley Quinn can bust it up, Batgirl is a knight, uh, can also be seen as a, a paladin, you know, it's cool stuff, and we have little things. Uh, every The reason why they are here However, is in every single bullet journal I have, I have a page or a spread dedicated. Oh, you can see my hand. Dedicated to stickers. And uh, I decided that this first spread. <laughs> Sorry, I'm easily amused. This first spread will be. Um, I gotta stop doing that. Uh, first spread will be my sticker collection. Uh, I have several sticker collections. In fact, if you remember my uh, my last bullet journal, the hour-long bullet journal of doom, this was what it looked like. This was actually in the back of the book. Usually I do have the sticker collection in the front of the book, um, like this one. So, we're starting this bullet journal off right. Yeah! Let's turn the page, see what we've got. This lovely creation that I've done, again, I brought back the moths from the cover, uh, and I also introduce a brand new character who was created specifically for this spread. Um, her name is Luna Moth, and she is a burlesque dancer who dresses like a Luna Moth. <laughs> and <laughs> I spent a long long time on her and uh, 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 just this whole spread and this was actually one of the first times in uh, my recording when I was editing through that I realized that uh, the way that my camera was angled you I you couldn't see anything because my hand was covering up the sketches uh, so it was kind of halfway through I think coloring Luna that I moved my camera so that you could see what I was doing. Um, but also the video ended so uh, soon after that, the, the only part of me making these moths, uh, moths? May, um, we're doing the background. I did this one and this one. And then you didn't see anything else. And then it quickly cut to a blank spread where I started working on my beautifully intricate index. Uh, and the only part of that that I apparently recorded was me uh, penciling everything out. Uh, you didn't see any of me actually creating this, so what you saw was me creating something, but not what. And then I jumped to the next spread. You didn't even see what came of me doing all the penciling here. So, um, but yeah, here is my index. Uh, there are 108 lines because there's 110 uh, line. Uh, there's 110 pages, or yeah, pages in this book. So I made 108 lines because I knew I'm not going to get up to 108 because I've already gone up to 44. 
and that's obviously not 44 lines. Um, but I did that because um, I, I like to have more lines than necessary just so that I don't have to make another index just in case. Does that make sense? Also, the font that I uh, used throughout this book uh, was originally inspired by the Bioshock font, which is a very Art Deco font. Uh, though I know that Bioshock takes place in the 50s, whatever. Uh, it is still Art Deco, and Art Deco was actually an art sale that was created in the 20s. I did my research. But anyway, I like that font so much that I decided to use that for everything. Sometimes. Uh, here is my future log. And uh, as you can see, I have a much bigger version of that moth. And if anybody wants to uh, see me do like a quick, very quick tutorial of how I draw that moth, um, I will uh, gladly put one up on my Instagram channel, which is the uh, Taryn M. Gray on Instagram. T-A-R-Y-N as in Nancy, M as in Michael, and G-R-A-Y. The proper way to spell gray if you're Scottish. But yeah, here is my future log. And what you'll see in my future log is January through June. And the reason why I didn't do anything past June is because this book is not very long. In fact, I'm, uh, how far am I? Yeah, I'm this far and there's only 110 pages and I'm at 46, so I'm almost halfway done with this book, and it's almost halfway done with January. So I, I am not expecting to have this book for very long, and I'm actually already starting to plan my next bullet journal just in case I uh, finish this one before the next... I don't think I'm going to finish it before February. I might actually finish this on February, um, but just in case I want to have a backup ready to go. Uh, so, but yeah, this is just everything that I do in my life so far, or things that I need to look forward to. I have these really cool little Alice in Wonderland bookmarks that you're going to see throughout this book because I'm using them to cover up stuff that you don't need to know about. So one of the things I wanted to do for uh, for the new year was uh, to make a list of goals, things that I want to focus on for this year, um, and also things to um, just kind of guide myself. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people and watching a lot of videos and other bullet journalers who have made their their goals and everything. But also um, getting some ideas from them because I think it was Plant Based Bride who did a video on blah blah blah. What did she do? She did a video about goal setting, um, but also she had like a fun little saying for it. It was like prediction or goals, predictions, and, and uh, intentions. Something like that. But uh, that gave me a lot to think about. However, I had already made this spread. I had already drawn this beautiful Luna Moth, um, uh, who is also, not only is she a burlesque dancer, but she's also an acrobatic burlesque dancer. I had a lot of fun with Luna. Um, but yeah, from what you can see, I, I have the various, um, various different types of things uh, on my, my goals for this year. Uh, in terms of just like different things that I want to do, different things that I want to see myself do, different things that I want to move forward and maybe get into a place that is uh, where I can achieve more. Um, just working toward being better and doing things that... Uh, well, um, I, I guess I focus more on like things that will help me spiritually <laughs> um, and put me in like at a better, more positive frame of mind, uh, but also things that are more on the creative side and more of the just the, the, the things, the, the things, things that will help me, maybe, who knows, 
Let's find out. Here's my monthly spread. Moth. But yeah, I have, um, for this I did, I have done... I've done stuff like this in the past where I have like just one page dedicated to um, just saying what month we're in. In this case, we're in January of 2020. And I did the um, Art Deco borders, which I am really, really proud of. I abused the crap out of my ruler and my gold markers. Um, apparently, I only have three gold markers, and now I have no gold markers. So yeah, but um, this is my monthly. Uh, there's nothing really that important on it, just kind of me keeping track of my year and, or my month. It already feels like a year. And just different things that uh, are gonna go on in this month. Here is my brain dump page. I love having brain dumps because it gives me like a good place to just kind of like uh, if I don't have time to make an entire spread to something, or like a, a, to dedicate time to making a dedicated, it's a lot of dedication. If I do not have time to make a dedicated spread for a particular thing at that moment, I can write it down here in my, my brain dump. And then uh, later on, when I do have time, I can look at my brain dump going, okay, I need to either add this, to a, like here, I need to add this to a particular spread that I um, will talk about in a later video. Uh, not this video, because this video, I am determined to keep short. Determined. But as you can see, like I'm already, uh, I think I was about, um, I was a good ways through uh, some of my current spreads when I realized it's like this book is not going to last me nearly as long as I need it to and I really need to start thinking about what actually I need and one of the things throughout my bullet journal journey because uh, I've been bullet journaling since 2017 I have not ever tried a travel notebook uh, for those of you who don't know what that is a travel notebook is basically a cover with uh, elastic bands inside and then you have inserts and those inserts slide in underneath the elastic bands and they stay they stay in your notebook but you can have different types of inserts so I've been thinking about like the, the things that I need in that insert uh, what I need from those inserts really that's like I need a lined journal because uh, I do do a lot of writing so I would like to have a writing notebook just ready on hand. I do a lot of sketching so I do want a sketchbook something that I can use. Um, it's like oh hey a giant blank spread let's go I'm for this and I also need a place to bullet journal. So uh, one of my all-time favorite sites is uh, Citrus Book Bindery. Uh, however <laughs> Those books are incredibly expensive, and when I went to go look up my, um, to see how much this would be, it was gonna cost me quite a bit to get a travel notebook. I think about $50, not including shipping. So I basically, <laughs> that's uh, something that I'm just gonna have to wait for my tax refund to get because I have a whole lot of other expenses of things that I need to take care of before I can look into getting a very, a very, very nice, uh, but also very expensive journal. Um, but on top of that, I also wanted to get uh, one of their custom sketchbooks on top of that because uh, on top of having like a small sketchbook, I also have to, I also like having a big sketchbook that I can carry around. Um, I like sketchbooks. Yeah. So yeah, um, for my next one, I am going to use, I am going to bite the bullet and use a dotted grid notebook as an actual bullet journal and leave my blank pages for my sketching. Um, which is one of the biggest reasons why I use a blank sketchbook in the first place is because I want a place to where if I need a completely blank, lineless, dotless grid, well, anti-grid, just a completely blank page, 
I don't have to worry about lines, I don't have to worry about dots, I don't have to worry about grids. I have it. And that, that's one of my biggest things about um, having switched to, uh, I think I switched to sketchbooks in 2008, February of 2018. <laughs> so I, I know that seems very specific. <laughs> that's because it is. That is when I pulled out a sketchbook for the first time and it's like, you know what, um, I haven't used this before so I'm going to use this as my bullet journal. And that's when I decided that I really wanted to use blank pages. But I am going, my next bullet journal, I am going to try the dotted grids, but I also am going to have the uh, alternate uh, inserts uh, for my travel notebook um, and try that out for a month or two and see how I feel. And I'll let you know. <clears throat> this is my weekly. Um, and I actually, I used my moths as the, moths? Moths, not moths. Moths? Moth. Myth. I used these little guys as my days of the week, and I really, something on my pages. I have the things on my pages. Um. But yeah, as you can see, I have been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, one thing that I, I'm i actually doing different um, in my, my dailies and my weeklies, I am not writing down, I'm writing tasks here, um, but things that I, like, I know for sure are happening on these days. It's kind of like the Rolling Weekly. Uh, again, Plant Based Bride did a video on the Rolling Weekly. And I really like her, uh, her take on it. Um, but also Amanda Rachley talked about um, watching Plant Based Bride and then starting the Rolling Weekly and everything. And I actually did use the Rolling Weekly for uh, all throughout December. However, my pages, my uh, I make my weeklies in advance because I never know if I'm going to have time to make my weeklies. So I just want to make sure that they're all done and accounted for and not have to worry about it. And uh, one of the things that I noticed about my December of last year, <laughs> last year, it was a whole month ago, guys. December was a whole year ago. Um, was that even though I did the rolling weekly and everything, I still wasn't using the pages. And so they, like, the pages were just vastly, were still very vastly blank. So one thing, one thing that I really wanted to, to do was I wanted to fill up these pages. I wanted to make these, I, I wanted to write down not just tasks and events and activities and things that I was doing, things that I had to do, uh, things to remember. I wanted to write down memories. Uh, so uh, as you can see underneath uh, there are some there's some things underneath these guys um, very personal things that happened to me on those days that I don't feel like talking about and then on like this <laughs> the first day of January I got my car back I was so happy <laughs> I got my car back and I haven't had a car in seven months and I'm just so happy and that has made me I don't getting my car back after seven months of not having a car has made me really really appreciate uh, the bus system <laughs> but also the fact that like the bus system is just Houston has the probably one of the worst bus systems in the entirety of the nation, and it's just horrendous. Uh, just, I hate it. I there are so many things that they can do better, and they don't care because we're a gas town, and the, like we just have so many oil barons that feed into this or feed off of the city and. Yeah, I, I just, this, this video isn't 
uh, meant for that, but uh, it just, I have a car again. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have my car back and, and everything. So it's like I had to write that down and uh, I've been doing this for almost two weeks now and I, the pages are full because I'm not just putting, it's like there are some days where I just don't have anything to do. Uh, like, I don't have any activities, I don't have any things to remember, but it's like maybe, like on a, the last Saturday, I was like, I have too many library books. And I do. I still do. I, I think I have checked out the max number of library books that you can check out. And I, like, I turned in like a ton of them yesterday, but I still have so many. Like, hold on. You see that? That's all library books. And I also have some library books, like, on my couch right now. That's too many library books. Oh my god. Did I break this? No. Cool. But yeah, so it's like, yeah, I have too many library books, and I acknowledge that I have too many library books, but does that matter? No, it doesn't. But yeah, so I just have all of these, um, just stuff, and like, this is the day that I cha changed my own- Oh, Like, over here you can see that I changed my own air filter for the first time ever, and I learned how to change an air- like, two different air filters on my car. Uh, and then I got my tires checked. Ah, <laughs> oh, car maintenance, man. Car maintenance. Uh, and then today was, uh, today I actually put like a little asterisk where it says finish editing. Uh, I actually put a, like a little asterisk on today where it says finish editing Buja video. And I crossed that out and put a little star because up here it says Video is corrupted and scrap it and just film edit flip through instead. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. It's less corrupted and more just I'm done with it. I'm done miss it because I have missing footage. I have missing. I just, there's so much. I'm just tired of it. It was just easier to scrap it and just film this flip through than it was to fight with it any longer. Because 2020 is the year that I just stop caring about things that I can't control and if I don't like it, start over. And don't let it get to me. I mean, if I have to film a th flip through instead of a, uh, instead of like a thing where I put things together, sketching, coloring stuff you know what I mean so yeah I have the next couple of weeks uh, already ready to go why is there stuff I feel a little bumpies they weren't there this morning and then we have the final week of January and I do like to finish off my weeks, even if the weeks don't end evenly. Um, so you, um, what, so you see the first and second of February, and then when I start February, I'm actually going to start on the third. And I just like doing that because it's easy. It, I like, I like doing that. That's fine. It doesn't bother me. Not at all. I don't know what accent that was, but. Hopefully it won't come back. And then my final... <laughs> final. It's not my final. Um, but uh, So when I finished off this page, uh, this page was actually blank. Just completely blank and I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, so I looked at, um, I did some, I did a lot of sketches of Luna Moth, uh, just like different poses, different, uh, um, styles of her outfit, just trying to figure out like how the outfit worked and everything. 
one of the pose, uh, poses that I didn't do was this one where it's just her standing and we kind of get more of a look of her outfit versus me playing with different funky poses. <laughs> and uh, so I, I did that one. Uh, and I actually finished the line art of this one and when I finished it I'm like this would make a really cool coloring page. Uh, so I stopped what I was doing before I colored it which if anybody knows me personally that is watching this video you know that it is very hard for me to stop a project once I get into the zone. Uh, so for me to actually stop what I was doing and like scan this before I started coloring it was an achievement all on its own. And I wound up uh, scanning this and putting it on my Patreon for my uh, for anybody who is interested in coloring pages. So yeah, if you would like to color your own Luna Moth, uh, go to my Patreon page, which I will link down below in the description. Uh, I am going to show off this one just because I love it. And this is a full on uh, design of Luna Moth and because uh, I really wanted to break down the outfit itself and kind of show like her um, like how she gets ready how she gets into her outfit and performance uh, some of her background as an acrobat uh, someone in her life someone very special in her life a random I wanted her non <laughs> non performer well I, I wanted the ones where she's not as Luna Moth to uh, she's not dressed as Luna Moth to be uh, black and white just to kind of like be different. I could have done everything in green because that's my favorite color and I would gladly do everything in green. But I just I really wanted to show her her outfit and the, the different pieces that go into making the outfit. And also like here's the back of it, here's what it looks like in the front, and here's what it looks like when she's flying, and this is the uh, makeup around her eye. Uh, where if you look very, if you go to, if you go to my Instagram, you will see some of it more, like, uh, more up close and you can see that there is a yellow, um, eye shade around her eye. But yeah. So yeah, that is my next is stuff for another video. But I did want to show off my, my new baby Luna Moth and how much I love her and everything about it. So yeah, that is this month's bullet journal. Thanks for watching and yeah, uh, if you want to subscribe and see, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see from me. If you would like to see more art related videos, um, I am working on doing some more art supply uh, reviews. I do have those in the works and those should be up shortly. My goal for right now is to post one video every Sunday. However, uh, to be a little bit more lenient on myself, I am trying to at least get two videos a month up um, just so that I can have some stuff on my channel. Um, and uh, of course, that will increase with time. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, check the description for other places that you can find me, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Patreon, and you can buy me a coffee. All those links are down below. I also have a Redbubble, also below. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.